bit of a theme here, we're going back to Russia. In uh, 1958, Dmitry Shostakovich, uh, he wrote a musical operetta called Cherry Muski. And it was a very satirical look at the really, very real chronic uh, housing shortage in Russia and the appalling conditions of homes and where people were ha having to live. So he m created this musical comedy around it. And so this little piece is from that comedy and it's called Gallop. And we kind of picture it's a gallop around all of those neighborhoods and all the distinctive, uh, unique things that make each neighborhood its own special thing. So in this piece, it's in rondo form, which means there's an A theme. So that's our home village. And you'll hear that recur. But in between, so it will, you'll hear the A theme. And then we're gonna go to another neighborhood and we're gonna try and change the character and, and give that story of that neighborhood. Then we're gonna come back home again to our home village, our home neighborhood, to the A theme. And then we're gonna to go to the C village, which is a totally different feel and style. And then come back home and you, so you get the pattern. You're gonna see, see what happens. So um, just, we've tried to pull the character and, and you know, you're gonna, as I mentioned this morning, you're gonna hear, um, you'll picture these Russian people in their local pub, just laughing and yucking it up. That comes from the back row, no surprise. But, <laughs> no surprise. The drinking part or the uh, laughing part, not sure which. But anyway, this uh, just a gallop and a romp through, uh, through some Russian neighborhoods.
probably know there are huge, huge trees. And there's a grove of trees called Cathedral Grove there. These trees, 250 feet high. 30 feet in circumference. They're huge. And of course, there's always a concern about, uh, you know, the health of, of trees. And we did some research and learned that trees actually talk to one another. This is true. By there, there's the major hub trees, like the mother trees, if you will. And they send wisdom, nurturing, underneath and through their root systems, extra carbon that they don't need. And they send that through the root system to nourish the seedlings so that those, those trees and the community of trees are replenishing themselves. So if one mother tree or two mother trees, when they're injured and dying, especially all that excess carbon goes, and, you know, we were talking about this and thinking, okay, you know, through whatever, we can lose one or two. But we can't lose all of our trees. We just, we would, you know, undo those, all those communities. So well, this is our chance to really think about world issues and explore those through our music. Um, and so that's what we really thought about. And we hope that when we play this, you can imagine the the majesty and the awe and wonder of these beautiful, beautiful trees and how important it is that we maintain, we don't clear cut, and, uh, that, and hopefully you'll understand where they're communicating. 